Hello, and thank you for joining us today in our study of the book of Psalms. Today we are in Psalm 105, and as has been the case with a couple of the Psalms previous to this recently, we're going to have a situation both with, with this one and the next two where we're going to have to break them up into two parts because of the length of the psalm. Now, this is not a regular occurrence, and it's not going to be for most of the remaining psalms beyond that point. But we're in a section right now with some of the longer psalms. And so today, in Psalm 105, we are going to read through the psalm, and then we'll come back the next uh, video and look at a few applications and a few things that we need to learn from the psalm. But before we delve into the psalm today, I want you to have an idea a little bit about what it is that the psalm discusses. This psalm is going to be all about what the Lord has done, and it's actually going to delve back into the history of Israel in order to lay out many different things about God's interactions with his people. It's actually even going to go back before the time of the nation of Israel, to the initial sons of Israel. And so you're going to have several different areas that are going to be discussed. So be looking for those as we look at Psalm 105. Beginning in verse 1, we read, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples, sing to him, sing psalms to him, talk of all his wondrous works, Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who rejoice let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face forevermore. Remember his marvelous works which he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Abraham his servant, you children of Jacob his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He remembers his covenant forever, the word which he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant which he made with Abraham and his oath to Isaac and confirmed it to Jacob for a statute to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying, To you I will give the land of Canaan as the allotment of your inheritance. When they were few in number, indeed very few, the strain and strangers in it, when they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he permitted no one to do them wrong. Yes, he rebuked kings for their sakes, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones, and do my prophets no harm. Moreover, he called for a famine in the land. He destroyed all the provision of bread. He sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They hurt his feet with fetters. He was laid in irons. Until the time that his word came to pass, the word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people let him go free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions to bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his elders wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt, and Jacob dwelt in the land of Ham. He increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people, to deal craftily with his servants. He sent Moses his servant, and Aaron whom he had chosen. They performed his signs among them, and wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness, and made it dark, and they did not rebel against his word. He turned their waters into blood, and killed their fish. Their land abounded with frogs, even in the chambers of their kings. He spoke, and there came swarms of flies and lice in all their territory. He gave them hail for rain and flaming fire in their land. He struck their vines also and their fig trees and splintered the trees of their territory. He spoke, and locusts came, young locusts without number, and ate up all the vegetation in their land, and devoured the fruit of their ground. He also destroyed all the firstborn in their land, the first of all their strength. He also brought them out with silver and gold, and there was none feeble among his tribes. 
Egypt was glad when they departed, for the fear of them had fallen upon them. He spread a cloud for a covering, and fire to give light in the night. The people asked, and he brought quail, and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock, and water gushed out. It ran in the dry places like a river, for he remembered his holy promise, and Abraham his servant. He brought out his people with joy, his chosen ones with gladness. He gave them the lands of the Gentiles, and they inherited the labor of the nations, that they might observe his statutes and keep his laws. Praise the Lord. Here in Psalm 105, you have a history lesson of the relationship of God with the people of Israel and all that God has done to bring them to the place where they are at that moment. And so when we come back next time, we're going to look at some of the things that are said. We're going to look at some applications from them. And we're going to see what the purpose behind these particular statements is. I hope that you'll come back and join us next time. Thank you for viewing the video today, and I hope that it has been beneficial to you. But until next time, I hope you have a great day.